Are you ready? I'm, I'm already rolling. No, oh, shit. Gotcha. <laughs> Stan White, I'm a realistic portrait artist. Yeah. Okay, are you gonna like chop this up and edit the way you want it? You see it? Oh, awesome. Yeah. Yes, something of a different pace. Fresh, it's a 97 made case. Now, I believe the time is right. How? Stepping from the left to the right, so get ready for the rhythm in check. Direct, believe me, you ain't heard nothing yet. I will. But that's in my lyrical skill until the score reaches 15 mil. Go deep, right into the middle of the beat. It stays sweet in every way, seven days a week, on time. Give it to you. I paint realism. Uh, it's what I like to do, but I appreciate abstract art. And I wish I was more of an abstract artist sometimes, but I don't think that way. You know, I'm, I'm more mechanical. I would describe myself as a, as a perfectionist. I'm sure of it, uh, almost to the point of um, I'm neurotic about it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, it kind of handicaps me sometimes. Uh, I mean, I've probably destroyed as many paintings as I've had successful paintings. Because uh, regardless of how much time I've put in them, if they're not working for me, um, they're never seen again. And I'll just start them over until it's perfect, the way I want to see it. Uh, my biggest challenge uh, was always trying to get uh, was painting people and, and, and maintaining or achieving the perfect likeness. So why did I choose that? Why did I decide to do that? It was simply because I was not very good at it, honestly. It, uh, if I'm painting for myself, my inspiration is color and composition. I love lighting and lots of high contrast. I get my inspiration from a lot of things. I go through some books. Uh, I do a lot of reference on other artists. Uh, I'll adapt. What they do, if I'm inspired, I will, you know, if it lends itself to what I do, I'll take what I can from other sources and put my own thing together. Sometimes it just comes naturally. But before I paint anything, uh, I spend a little, a good bit of time just researching my subject. Um, and I start out simply. It's, uh, I determine my subject, I start out sketching it, then I wash it in. Then I start building that paint in a gradual process so that I do not lose a likeness. I say I trap the likeness first before I start throwing paint all over it. It's a, it's a, it's a gradual buildup. It's a, it's a slow transition when you're doing portrait work from the drawing to the finished piece. And it, you know, it, it's kind of time consuming, but uh, that's how I choose to do it. And it works for me. I paint rather large now. Uh, I really don't paint any smaller than say a 24 by 36 inches, which is pretty large for a portrait. Um, but I didn't start that and I was painting portraits for probably five or six years before I decided I'd kind of rather see them all really big, like a more of an in-your-face thing. And it was a little more contemporary and not, not such a traditional approach to portrait painting. So, uh, you know, I upped the size and I I did some uh, funky things with cropping and uh, things like that. So now I kind of decided to paint larger when I was well into it. And it was well received, so I, stayed, I still do that. I uh, have always been into art, as a, even as a child really. It's all I, I really dug it. It was my thing when I was younger. Uh, I didn't consider it for a, to do as work when I grew up. I never did. Uh, in fact, after high school, I didn't even think about it. I worked construction for a while, and uh, probably after a couple of years of that, I decided it would be easier to uh, get educated on something. And, and since I was interested in art, I worked on uh, enrolling in college and studying art. My dad didn't dig it at all. I mean, he was into the construction thing. And I, and I understand that. It was probably a little more, uh, a little more of a foundation to build off of, to uh, you know, stay in the building business. And I, to, to explain to him that I was going to be a, an artist it didn't really set that well with him. I mean, he didn't try to uh, you know, deter me from doing anything. I just don't feel like I had a full endorsement <laughs> about doing that. 
Anyway, I did study art. I spent five years in school studying art um, and then went to work after that in, in advertising. Well, I, I, I look at art like, uh, I mean, painting, uh, like I would um, writing, I mean, literature, uh, dancing, or whatever. I think the whole art thing is just, I mean, it's part of who we are. I don't think most people feel that way. I mean, everybody appreciates uh, some form or fashion of art. Um, I don't think it what's, you know, it's, uh, it civilizes us. It's, it, I think it's important. I, I stress it to my kids, myself personally. I think it's right up there with everything else that they study. And that's the way I've always felt about it. Where will I be a few years from now? A little better at what I do? A little more successful at what I do? Well, I, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna go to prison or anything for saying it. But <laughs> it was awful. It was awful. Oh my God. You couldn't. Made some questionable decisions. I'm actually from the same town that uh, Gomer Powell is from. <laughs> okay, hi, I'm Stan White. Fuck, sorry. <laughs> I that's forgot a, what I was gonna say. That's the word I'm gonna use. Right? <laughs> sorry, I didn't like that at all. I think I've, I, <laughs> okay, cool. let's do it again. That's it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at me, man. Hey, go on, go on. <laughs> just, just, hey. Hi, I'm Stan White. Check me out on Facebook. Or look for me on my website.